Oh, not bad. Hey guys, what's up? So truth be told, I actually have no idea how to build this project. <laughs> I have very limited knowledge in AI and music. So I guess this will be an interesting video because you get to see me approach an unfamiliar project. Which, yeah, it might be fun. There's no particular purpose to this project. Just have fun. Just thought it would be cool to have an AI that composes music for you. This won't be a speed coding challenge, so it won't be timing ourselves. Um, actually, let's actually time ourselves. Let's actually time ourselves because the shorter the time, the harder the flex. <laughs> okay, so how do we start? I'm thinking of just making a very simple um, AI which only creates piano based melodies. Um, so we're gonna check out first if there is a, a piano library in Python. Yeah, no, we'll just start with Python. Okay, I might choose this one. This one looks the least complex out of all the libraries that I've searched so far. What's going on? I did that already. Oh wait. Wait. Wait, no way. How did I miss that? <gasps> did it work? Oh <gasps> we work. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh, guys hear that? Alright, on all 57 minutes. Okay. Not bad, not bad. So, um, so I guess next steps is to read the documentation, <laughs> seems, and um, just play around with the, the parameters and variables and see what different sounds we can produce. Yeah, I'm getting excited. Yeah, awesome. The most conspicuous variable that stands out here is the pitch variable, which is set at sixty. And if I look at documentation, pitch is the M I D I MIDI pitch number. Okay, so 60 is C. So if I put, let's say, 69, that'll give a different note. So 69. Oh, okay. So that sounds different from what we originally heard. All right, let's try the two notes together. Oh, all right, so we can hear two distinct notes in this sample. How do we let them play in sequential, in sequence? Okay, so I think time is the relevant variable. So time is zero. Let's do time is zero here and time is one. Oh, cool. All right. So that's in sequence. All right. So time is what determines um, when the note is played. Okay. So we need to modify pitch to get a note and we need to modify time to determine whether it will be played together or played sequentially. So I guess when it comes to melodies, we'll have to increment time when it comes to chords or on bass, then we are gonna let them play together. What's the next step? What's the next step? Right, think, think, think. All right, okay. So my next step, we're first gonna watch some tutorials on piano improvisation techniques, and then we're just gonna simply write algorithms based on those techniques. Yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah, let's watch some tutorials. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I'm 
me take none of that. So you're gonna have two main data sets, one for the melody, one for the bass. In the melody, you have individual notes, and for the bass, you have tuples containing the notes of a chord. And so here, for example, um, because chords, the notes are played together, they will have a timing of T equals N, and these three rough together have a timing of T equals M plus one. While for the individual melody notes, you're gonna have T equals N, T equals M plus one, T equals N plus two, and so on. Say this is our um, timeline. So at each juncture, you're going to have a, a chord playing and a particular melody note playing. So these could be played at these points. And then once you get to this juncture, um, the next chord will play. So that's how the timing works. And basically, um, we're going to define this for each improvisation technique. So from the tutorials, I've noted down three techniques. So we're gonna do this um, three times. And we're just gonna store them into a list or a map. And we're just gonna randomly select which technique to play. Okay, so uh, let's start coding. Okay, so I've been coding for nearly four hours now, and uh, we've just implemented the blues. Sounds random. Well, it is random, but like, I don't know. All right, let's try with the E scale. All right. Hmm. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm happy that we're able to produce some music but it still sounds really random so i guess after adding more rules um you know that what's that chord again when it the notes go in progression okay guys we've got a simple run method here but let's see what it sounds like Not bad, it works. All right, so let's try and incorporate those runs randomly throughout our piece and let's see how it sounds. Hmm. All right, um, still needs more refining, but looks like uh, this has potential, um, yeah. Okay, guys, I just added a new technique. Um, it's called the pentatonic um, scale, and apparently it sounds K-drama. Sounds like a K-drama. So yeah, let's run this. <laughs> Yo, that sounded pretty good. Hey, 
Awesome. All right, so um, now that we have all techniques ready, we should just then um, collapse them into a map so that we can just randomly choose a particular technique. That's it, guys. I'm pretty tired. What time is it? All right, five hours. Okay, so I think I'm gonna stop there. I'm pretty proud of myself. In five hours, went from not knowing about, not knowing anything about music and AI to producing some pretty decent tracks. Yeah, so I'm pretty happy. If you guys enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Enjoy weekend. Bye.